Today in history, July 2011, the final launch of the Space Shuttle Atlantis took place. After 30 years of service, 135 missions and 888 days in space, the Atlantis was finally retired. On July, it was decided to proceed with the launch despite very high winds at the back. And at T minus nine minutes, the crew got a go for launch. Shortly after, the three astronauts aboard the shuttle, Commander Chris Farrell, Pilot Doug Hurley, and Mission Specialist Sandy Magnese, they were cleared to begin their ascent. As the shuttle began to move down the road to the launch pad, thousands of people lined the streets to get one last view of the shuttle, and many of them were crying as they waved goodbye. At T, 10 seconds, the shuttle's engines ignited, and the countdown continued. But at T, 6 seconds, an unexpected problem was detected. A clamp release mechanism on the external tank had not worked properly. The ground team quickly determined that the problem would not affect the flight and the launch was back on. At T, three seconds, the lachairs that connected the shuttle to the launch tower were released and Atlantis began its journey into orbit. As it ascended, the astronauts experienced several moments of weightlessness, during which they were able to take in the stunning views of Earth. But soon they were met with a problem. Due to the high winds at the pad, the ascent was very bumpy. And at one point, the vehicle was shaking so violently that the astronauts had to be strapped into their seat. After several minutes of intense vibrations, the shaking gradually came to a halt and the astronauts were able to unstrap themselves. Once they reached orbit, the astronauts performed a series of maneuvers to put the shuttle into a holding pattern over the Atlantic Ocean. During their time in orbit, the astronauts completed a number of tasks, including the retrieval of the upper stage adapter from the cargo bay of the International Space Station. The adapter would allow future rockets to carry more cargo to the station. After completing all of their objectives, the astronauts began the process of returning to Earth. As Atlantis approached the atmosphere, it was met with a bright flash of light and a plume of smoke. This was caused by the re-entry burn of the shuttle's engine. The re-entry was rough, and the shuttle was met with temperatures of up to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. But Atlantis successfully landed on July, bringing an end to the space shuttle program. Let me know what you think about the final launch of the Atlantis in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.